Hi, I'm Jason Polgreen, General Manager of Apprentice Employment Services here at the MTA. And I just want to take the opportunity to guide you through what to expect at the next phase of the application process. So you've applied online, we like what we've seen, and we've invited you to come in and go through the next phase of the process. Do some homework and work out before you come in, how long is it gonna take you to get from home or wherever you're leaving from to our training centre at Royal Park, because this is where we conduct all of our uh, activities as far as recruitment. So make sure that you're not late, you're dressed appropriately. Now you don't need to wear a suit and tie, we're not expecting to see that, but we do require a minimum standard of neat casual dress. Uh, if you can wear a collared shirt and some dress pants, even better, that will actually help you stand out from the crowd because that's a really good um, thing that we look for. The initial start of the process is at a one-on-one -on -one interview and there's some testing as well that we'll get you to do, which is some basic aptitude type testing. Now the one-on-one -on -one interview is a standard interview like you'd expect from any other employer, but we'll also include uh, a dexterity test where we just look for some basic hand tool ability. So really the use of spanners, screwdrivers, things like that. So if you're not overly confident with that at the moment, I would brush up on, on doing some of that uh, type of activity prior to coming in and making sure you can actually demonstrate what we're asking you to do uh, with those tools. Don't forget to explain to us exactly why it is you want to do that particular trade that you're applying for because we really want to understand what has motivated you to come in and see us and apply for that trade in specifically. And if you cover all that off, you're well on your way to becoming an apprentice with the MTA. So we'll look forward to seeing you soon.